Planetary health is a very recently emerging field focused on understanding the human health implications of our rapid disruption and transformation of our planet's natural systems. We're really concerned that potentially the majority of the global burden of disease over the next century is going to result from our impacts across our planet's natural systems, from our disruption of the climate system, of global fisheries, of biodiversity loss, of accelerating scarcity of fresh water and arable land degradation, of changes in biogeochemical cycles, and that all of those transformations are accelerating at a pace that threatens every dimension of human health. So we're downstream from the largest industrial project on the planet. So this is tar sands, it's not your sweet crude oil. It's uh, more like peanut butter. And these projects aren't just threatening climate, they're threatening the survival of people. In this case, it's my people. When I saw what was happening in my territory, it's literally like seeing someone destroy a relative because that is who I am. So there's massive, massive illegal logging going on. And you know, when I first started, it was really easy to hate those loggers, but they just didn't have any choices. They were in these impossible situations where they had to choose between the well-being of their family and the well-being of the natural ecosystem. And they very, very clearly understood that if the forest was protected, it meant less disease for the community and it meant more water for their rice fields. And then those rice fields were feeding their family. So they saw this as a really clear trade-off between short-term and long-term well-being. I've started to wonder whether part of the predicament that we're in isn't a result of renouncing the authority of that awe and reverence that so many of us actually experience toward the natural world. I feel like we've gone pretty far away from that. We need to change our spiritual identity. We need to provide ourselves with spiritual fuel so we can see the earth not just as something physical, but it has a spirit. We somehow seem to have gotten away from talking about values and ethics, but it's something I believe we need to get back to. I think all of us are driven by our sense of values, but we don't talk about our collective shared values as much as we should. The positive vision is, is, is right there for us to see. For my children and their children, it's easy for me to imagine a world in a hundred years where human population has stabilized, where human populations continue to congregate in cities, but where those cities have been designed with intent and with thoughtfulness about how to minimize their inhabitants' ecological footprints and optimize their health and well-being. And it's quite easy to imagine a world in which with every passing decade after that, there is more room for the rest of the biosphere, not less. That to me is every bit as likely a future for my children's grandchildren as the catastrophic future. And the point is that it all depends on what we decide to do right now today. That's the urgency of now.